With so many video editing special effects and animation programs out there, why choose Photoshop for your project? Well, I used a program called Painter and Photoshop together back in 2002 when I made my first fine art animation, Five O'Clock Shadows. I used them together to create thousands of still images that I then placed frame by frame into my timeline of the video editing program Final Cut Pro. I also blended and combined multiple exported QuickTime movies later on in Adobe After Effects. The look I was going for in Painter and Photoshop was a hand-drawn, fine art, painted image that could then be essentially a moving painting. In 2008, I completed my award-winning animated short, Larry and Roz, about my grandparents and how they met and also their first date as I imagined it. And in this film, I also used these same techniques. This time, however, I had to animate a complicated waltz scene because they went on a first date that involved dancing and I had no idea how to do that. So what I did is I rotoscoped. I decided to download video from Vimeo of a couple waltzing to use as a guide. And then I drew directly over that video and then I threw it out once I had my final looping animation. In my 2011 film, Veggie Propaganda, I also used this video rotoscoping technique in another dancing scene, as well as one where a dog is licking the camera slash viewer. In my most recent animated short, This Too Shall Pass, about the ups and downs of parenthood, I wanted my family's home movies to play a major role. So in this film, you can actually see more of the video in action underneath as I use Photoshop and it's now greatly improved brush tools to paint right on top of it. So in this course, I'll show you how I do what I do as well as other ways to draw and animate right over your video as in this short film by my former student, Ahmed Badenski. So, Grab your mouse or tablet pen and let's have a look at all the great ways Photoshop can help you with your next project. See you in the next lesson.